Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to use the Logitech G29 steering wheel uh, for Omp C2, which is a uh, bus simulator. Uh, it, this, uh, what would you call it, setup guide? Well, uh, it will work for pretty much any other driving game, etc. Of course, uh, uh, ETS2, um, project cars, anything like that. But uh, right so first what you need to do is uh, download Logitech G Hub uh, a lot of people uh, especially on YouTube only do to the G27 what I've seen um, but if you type in Logitech G Hub that is the driver for the G29 other people were uh, use um, what is it called? It's a, it's a quite an it's an older version of what this is, but I it doesn't work. What people say, and I found this and it works fantastic. So uh, I'll put the link uh, in the description for you to uh, 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 to click on to download. But just download for Windows. I don't need to re-download it because I've already got it installed, uh, which is here. Uh, once it's installed, uh, click on Logitech G Hub. Should load, and there you go. It should uh, pop up with the G29. Uh, I think this can go back to G27. Not sure, but this is primarily for the G29. Click on it. You can uh, have different. Uh, you can have a uh, different presets. Uh, change. If an operating range, so if I want to have like a 502 degrees or 40, you know, uh, pretty much it sensitivity to a 5200, anything like that. Uh, for your pedals, uh, you can have a sensitivity for that, and you know, pretty self explanatory. Once everything's all there and it's done to your liking, uh, it's Head on to OMC2. Just give it a couple of seconds for it to wait. What is it doing? It I don't know. well. If you go into options, uh, you go into game controller. We'll wait for it to load. This is a pretty old game, not not that optimized. Uh, true, uh, true facts about this. Um, I think it's about two years. After this game, I'm just to release where um, the developers split apart, but it's now owned by uh, Airsoft, I believe. Anyway, uh, as you can see, this is what you can have. What uh, I got my PS4 controller plugged in, as well as my Logitech G uh, G29. This is what hopefully uh, should uh, say. Uh, when you uh, activate all the drivers plus the G Hub, it should say Logitech G Hub uh, G29 Driving Force. Then what you do, you press uh, this button here. As you see, I've already got it installed. Uh, it should become here. Uh, then you click on it. Then it should load up. So as you can see, I've got steering here. And then I've got my clutch. To say all, all this, you can all, uh, go auto config or literally just press this drop down menu and you can have throttle and brake, combo, clutch, brake, throttle, steering. I've steering, then I've got clutch pedal, brake, and throttle. Make sure you put reversed because uh, what happens is you don't press reverse when you load your bus in, start the bus up, it'll max throttle when you haven't even touched the pedal, so make sure it's all reversed. Buttons, you can set up to your prefer, uh, you know, preferred like, uh, like here, my uh, flat, flappy pedals, my left and right uh, indicator. Then I got my uh, electricity, which is the RP button, then the enter button, I've got engine off, and you've got my, uh, my gear shift, you've got manual 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so on. Then share, I've got as uh, drive uh, option, I've got as neutral. And the PlayStation button set to 
reverse then I've got the uh, circle button as uh, uh the parking brake uh, I'm I'll be I'll be uh messing around with some other bits but I can't really be arsed with it. I just use the keyboard. Uh for some reason Omsi doesn't like the D pad. So you kinda use the D pad on here. But uh just to make sure that it works uh let's find a really small bat uh really small bat that I can load in. Let's go Gundorf. I go to Bannerhof. Right. Just click on the new bus. This is just to prove that it works. Uh, press F1. So the Steven works. And start the bus up. Bus is starting, then you've got the accelerator, <coughs> then press the brake to put it in drive. So, brakes work. I don't think this can show the clutch, but just the clutch will work. But everything should work. As you can hear, indicators working, and uh, part of the brake. Is uh, working as well. So, um, let me just quickly uh, hop out, and uh, that's just uh, let's try Euro Truck just to prove that it's also working. Uh, I'll skip this video because I've got so many mods downloaded on Euro. Sometimes, but. Right, we are back after waiting an uh, absolute eternity for it to load. Well, it's not actually long, it was about 30 seconds. But uh, for ET uh, ETS, it's pretty simple. Go to Options, Controls. Uh, if you want to use the Input Wizard, it'd be so easier. I'll show that in a minute. But for it, do it the hard way. You just literally go into controls and up the top you can have a wireless controller or not wireless controller what I'm talking about um, uh, you can have keyboard keyboard out but it should come up with the steering wheel if it doesn't then just XO VTS2 uh, and then uh, uh, close G hub and open it again it should work once you got it, just click on it, uh, then it should uh, go into control and subtype wheel, wheel automatic. Uh, I've, I use the automatic on this uh, truck because it's only got 6 speed and sometimes you can't really be bothered to change gears so you just stick it in auto but you got H shifter. Uh, it's pretty, pretty simple. I'll go more set up for my gear, uh, my gear shifter. Uh, then you've got your wheel axis, uh, then you've got accelerator, brake, then you've got the clutch. Input wizards, just go to controllers, uh, select which one you want, height shifter, uh, this is depending what you want as well, uh, because you can have different, you can have Volvo, Scania, Mercedes, but keep it simple because it's going to range. Then, uh, it should come up uh, when you finish it should be all ready and done but uh, for some reason uh, you have to change it because it thinks that the clutch pedal is the accelerator where it's not yeah, all you gotta do is just acceleration axis uh, click on that 
and uh, press the accelerator pedal and it should have come up with here. Uh, clutch axis, just press the clutch, uh, then brake is brake and so forth. Uh, but uh, should be all self explanatory. Um, I'll leave it at this. Uh, hope this video has helped you. Um, uh, thank you for the support of, and uh, and all that. Uh, keep it coming. Not uh, the kids. We got 61 subscribers now, so not far off 100. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, I'll see you in the next video.